going on? It's me, Johnny. I'm here doing the impromptu review for you. Today we're gonna do the M5 or Micro 5 PK fucking magic thingy. Let me tell you this. This was only like, uh, man, I thought I was gonna be able to like do really, really cool crap. And I thought, you know, maybe there was some cool secret. Like, that was a really cool way to do this. But there's fucking not. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna take a huge ass fucking magnet and you're gonna strap it to your fucking wrist. Okay, let me tell you something. If you're out there doing magic, Street magic, wearing sleeves, you're looking like a fucking dumbass, okay? This thing's like the biggest, you ever seen the brave little toaster, that scary ass magnet that's going on picking up like the toys in the cars and shit? It's like that. Like, you better be careful where you move. Yeah, first of all, better be really careful, because that, that thing comes near your cell phone, dunzo. Dunzo. It comes near someone else's phone, dunzo. Like, this is, it's not a toy, like, one day Johnny was walking by, I had it in my pocket, right? I was doing some tricks at a school, right? And I'm walking by. I'm just a fucking cool guy, right? And all of a sudden, as I'm walking by, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm on the ground because the dad magnet grabbed a chair next to me. I fell. I looked stupid. I can't be looking stupid. Oh, I can't be falling out there around chairs and stuff looking like I run into chairs. Johnny's a cool guy. I can't be doing that crap. This is like a real strong. It pulled the chair in front of me. That's how strong this thing is. I just had it in my pocket, not directly in front of me, but it attached Johnny to the chair and I fell. The effects are pretty cool, but they're not that cool because you're wearing sleeves. Like, you could do some really cool stuff. Like, you know, they say you could do, like, you know, the Raven Vanish. But, I mean, it's kind of hard because you got to, like, you have clothing requirements. Obviously, you have to wear a sleeve. So, like, your sleeves are doing funny things. You got this big magnet here. Like, you know, if anybody says, hey, roll up your sleeve, you can't be like, oh, yeah, you know, like this. Like, I, like it's awkward as fuck, you know. And then the other thing is like you got these little brass rings like Oh look, I think these little brass rings, look at this Oh look at that, they stick, isn't that cool? Go ahead, you try Oh they don't stick for you, hey, 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 hey. That's funny, cause I'm a fucking magic guy and you're a fucking dumbass Like what the fuck is that shit? Like what are you doing to people? Like that's not a magic trick, that, I mean yeah, that's a magic trick That's a trick If you wanna go out there and trick people That's what you're gonna be doing with the M5 And it's not even that good of a trick People are gonna see this thing like, like why do you have these metal rings and like what are you doing? Like there's another thing where like you can make like a matchstick stand up. But like you can do everything with the M5. Like you got this big fucking magnet and you're gonna make a matchstick stand up? Like fuck that shit. Like I wanna make cars levitate and stuff like that. Like come on. Like and then the, on top of that they're gonna charge you. Like they used to charge you like a hundred bucks for this shit. Now they charge you 90, 89, 99. You know it's a good deal. Hey 10 bucks off with a big fucking magnet. Like, I'm pretty sure you could go online and buy, like, a fucking daggum little, uh, you know, uh, well, not little because it's big, go online, buy a name for, like, five bucks, and then, you know, shim the rest of your crap that you want to use. Like, if, I, if, if, if I had this thing, like, if I really want to make this a worker, I'd use it so I could, like, remove, move, like, refrigerators and stuff, not matches, and no brass rings, and, uh, you know, make a quarter disappear. Like, I don't need a magnet the size of a bag fucking car attached to my wrist as I hear let me show you a piece of magic <gasps> oh my god god dang my god okay stay real still all oh, dang what the fuck like that's what it's gonna be like like you gotta be like a daggum bodybuilder to work this thing cause you know like the torque and everything is on the edge of your wrist you know you gonna be walking around looking like half hulk like half skinny dude like I'm a skinny guy like I can't put that fucking magnet on my wrist it's not worth it ask, man, ask some questions I'm completely ranting what are the uh, what, what are the instructions like that come with the M5? Is it a DVD, a booklet? What did you get? Both. Uh, Illusions they'll give you a they'll give you a magnet. I mean a, a like a little pamphlet and a DVD. I believe Penguin does the same thing. Uh, and you know I mean it's gonna explain that, like how you need to do this stuff. That's that's beside the point because like you can have really good instructions to do something really stupid, and you have good instructions, but you're still doing something really stupid. The M5 has been out for a while. How do you think it's been received in the magic community so far since it came out? I think it's like a really tempting idea. You know, that's why it's still around. Like some people may think like, maybe there's something I could do with this. Like maybe I could be clever, you know? Maybe because I'm a fucking genius and I could do this. And I, so I think it's, that's why it's still held around. They brought the price down a little bit because there's tired. Like people are like, hey, yo, this piece of shit sucks. And I paid like a hundred bucks for this. Uh, so I think it's been received like, okay. And that's why it's still kind of around, but most people are like, man, I shouldn't have done that. Do you think it's a tool that other magicians are out there uh, working? Is it something you, you hear about or see? Other hell no. Everybody I know, no one's using that shit. You know, I mean, 
like I said, there's no reason to wear like a hundred pound magnet on your wrist when you can do everything like I you can do everything with that magnet that you can do with other PK styled uh, things. You know, you don't need that magnet for this. I, it's definitely not work it. Like, it's just too much. I mean, it's, it's TV magic. Like, if you really want to do something, it's either like for TV or YouTube. Like, when your spectators are really out there, they're looking for you, and they're like, "Hey, like, what are you doing? Like, what is that? What is that? You know, that. I mean, you want to do this? Like, you, I would use this to like film something really cool, and then you know, when I get the good footage, I would use the good footage. But for a real worker, no, nah, I'm not using this. Nobody I know is using this. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate the impact? It's like a negative billion, dude. This is a piece of duty. It's like garbage, and then they make me pay a lot of money for it. I don't like that shit. I work hard for my money, you know? And I was like, hey, I'm going to do some cool stuff. And then I get this huge ass magnet, and I'm just like, man, I can't even wear the thing outside. Like, I'm all limping and shit. Look like, you know, like I got fucking diseases or something. If the M5 was some type of uh, liquid beverage, what type of liquid beverage would it be? It would be like You'd be like, oh dang, who did this? And who put this in the glass? And this is not fancy at all. This is not fancy. This is, that is, that's gross.